So hello you guys, so I am just about to prep for picnics for two days for me and the family. So I'm going to start with some rice, I'm going to do a, I don't know what I'm going to put in there, rice salad, then I'm going to do some egg mayonnaise, then I'm going to do some chicken and bacon, which those two will be for sandwiches, um, then we'll do some um, carrot sticks, we'll do I think pickled, on, pickles, pickled onions, pickled gherkins, this one will likely be peppers, this one will be carrots and tomatoes, and then we'll have okay, we'll a couple for something else. So I'll put the rice on, so we're just using some long grain rice. I'm about to rinse it off and then I'm going to put it in that water over there and I'm going to add some veggies to it. So it'll be celery, carrots, onion and pepper I would think. Stick you to my kitchen door. So here I have one bowl and here I have lots and lots of chicken eggs. So my, um, my boss from my little dog gave me these. Freshly laid because she lives on the farm, so that's fab. Um, so that is going to be the mainstay for egg mayonnaise. Could just leave them whole, but there's something about egg mayonnaise that the kids just eat. Oh, you've moved. I haven't figured that out right. Have a, hang on two seconds and I'll put you back. Oh, now I've got egg on my hand. Darn it. Right. Let's there. How's that? Right, if it falls off again, we're going to get some more blue tag. Okay. So got some of them pop sockets ones. So mayonnaise wise, we're going to use this mayonnaise which is the lighter than light mayonnaise, that's I think Aldi's version um, and that I think is one and a half sins. The um, used to always have like full fat mayo but that has got far too many calories in it for me and I'm going to use my trusty tablesp tablespoon measure so as this is going on to sandwiches, I'm going to make my sandwiches um, and I think I'll just have, I've decided I'll just have these tomorrow. I'll do the sliced meats on Sunday because we're going to go and see some family on Sunday. So I'll keep five bowls for everybody and I'll keep and I'll have egg sandwiches for everybody as well. And that way the meats can stay there for Sunday. The rice is now cooking. I'm going to cut up some veggies for that in a minute. But for the moment, I think that the phone is stable, which is fantastic. So I'm not quite sure what I want to talk to you about. Well, I want to talk to you about something. What else am I going to do with this? So yeah, we have um, we have for the kids. We have asked them what they want to take because it's not like a school pat lunch where they're not allowed to take all of the all the fun stuff. So Jenny's opted for white chocolate milk, um, which I certainly can't have. First off, it's full of milk, and secondly, it's full of chocolate, so can't have that. Um, and then Alex has asked for Sprite. Now the little bottles of Sprite are actually about 45 calories, so the two and a half sins, but if you get the diet one, it's free. So we'll be having those. And then they wanted those little yogurt corners. Um, so I, they're having those, but I'm going to have just uh, normal yoghurt. And actually, I'm not going to take any yoghurt, I don't think. Although it's good for sauces, I'll think about it as it goes on. So I've got my eggs all peeled now. I've got egg peel everywhere. And I'm just going to go and wash them. And then I'll be back later with my next thrilling installment. Ah, YouTube magic. All done. Right, OK. So I have got these out of the freezer earlier. Um, so you can just buy loads in front. So I'm going to use two for me, two for the kids, um, two each for the children. I've got two kids, so that's six. And for the next day, I'm going to do exactly the same. So I'm going to take another pack out of the freezer. The twelve just blew at me then. Lord knows what it is. So, yeah, so sliced bread rolls, the 60 gram rolls. They're just about ready because they've been out a couple of hours for me to do it. And what I like about these is the slice. I know, little things for little people. So you'll notice that because this is gluten-y, um, I'm not making the hubbies. So Hubster will make his own and he will do, um, he will take these with him, okay? And he's very likely not to choose egg 
um, because, well, it's just not what he prefers. Right, okay. So once the sandwiches are done, I'm going to pack these into bento boxes. You know, they're not quite so much done. That's annoying, because now I have to use my knife. Oh dear. So, once we've got all the tops off these, yeah, so they go into the bento boxes, and because I will very likely put extra mayonnaise on the children's, what I will do is I will label the, because I'll wrap them in a little bit of foil, and I will label them with people's names, so that we don't get those mixed up. Because you don't want extra synergy mayonnaise. If you're gonna have extra synergy, you want it in chocolate. I have chosen um, to have either French fries or hula hoop puffed, which is between three and a half sins and I think five sins, depending on what the hubster comes back from the shops with. So yeah, these will get an extra splash of mayo on for the children, because they are not on a diet. And I am. It's gone all right today, but I had some like, well, it's kind of the local, the local sandwich shops version of popcorn chicken. So I haven't looked up the sins for those yet. So I'm going to, I've got the salt and pepper. They were delicious. Thankfully only a small snack portion. So they were very tasty. And I thought it's Friday. I want it. I'm going to have it. But now I'm going to have to pay the price for it by uh, finding out what the sinage is. Before I go on, otherwise I've had very low or no sins. Um, I had another mayo kind of meal um, at lunch, which would have been one and a half sins because I had chicken and bacon, and I had that alongside a salad, so it was easy enough done, and it was full of that super speedy stuff. I long to be on Bake Off where people will come and do my washing up for me. Do you think it'll ever happen? I don't think so. Can't bake for toffee. So, but most of the time, can't have coffee. All right, let's get some foil on the go. So my foil and baking powders are for keeping the little magazine rack holder because I like to be organized. I do like it. I do like organisation. Very rarely get to be organised, but here we go. Now somewhere in here we should have my lunchbox sharpie. Yes indeed, because that's the way we roll. Or brown roll. Or wholemeal roll. Or forward rolls. Forward rolls are at least in three. So because I'm doing two of these for me, that will be I think six and a half sins for tomorrow but what I will do is I'm going to package these up and um, so I'm going to package mine up as singles and then I'm going to make sure that I eat one at the beginning and then one at the end if I'm really hungry and then it's there and um, because what can happen is of course you can totally totally do sin nightmares with them um, with picnics so just singles for me there's one. So we were actually talking about as a group, what do you do when you're meeting people? What do you do when you have a picnic? What do you do when you go to work and you've got to get pack ups um, or pack lunches? Then it gets really hard and it's really, really easy to just go really high sin, just grabbing a sandwich at the local store is, um, well, I think it was 17 sins for a chicken and bacon sandwich from Marks and Spencer's last time I looked. So six and a half sins in comparison, it's not that bad. So I'm gonna put these in one of the bento boxes now. So if you've not seen bento boxes before, these little ones, so my daughter absolutely loves them, so she gets them for school. So we're nabbing them for tomorrow. So that can be, there I like them because they get squished a bit. I like flat sandwiches. <laughs> and then this one can be JB's. And then 
pop the top on. Um, I do like that they come with ink, so even if you overfill it, you can just squish them shut. And that will go into the fridge. So that's the children's ones. My ones will go into the blue and white. on top of these I'm gonna put the pickles because pickles keep me from uh, pickles keep me keep me from sinage crimes so if you don't do slimming world you might not know what sins are but basically a lot of slimming worlds you don't have to count your food so things like the rice that I'm doing that's free and um, the eggs are free and they're a pea for protein um, and Oh yes, pickles. I like some of those. So, pickled gherkins, pickled onions. Yes, indeed. Eh? Now, kids aren't keen on these, but I do like them. So, and I like them with everything. I like them with ham. I like them with hamburgers. I like them with things that don't begin with ham. Like cheese sandwiches, except I don't like cheese. Um, I have to have dairy free cheese, but I'm not having any of that tomorrow. Right, so that is that out to the recycling. And then the pickled onions as well. So, well, that's very much looking forward to this now. Do I have any of those little cocktail sticks? They would be quite fun, wouldn't they? They always remind me of like 1970s, 1980s parties thing from the sticks. <laughs> they're going to be anywhere, they're going to be in these organisers. Nope, not that organised. I've got that tassets. Oh well, never mind. We'll have to be uh, non 1980s. Okay, yeah, so the whole idea is. A lot of the ideas that we had at the group last night, because mine runs on a Thursday, I maintained by the way, which is good. I did what I lost, but you know, the weekend was pretty tragic. So I've got two Bentos, all done. Bentos, how am I doing those pies? So those can go back in the fridge. Oh, I've got some veggie there. Now I'm going to need to clean up before I do because I need to get rid of the gluten. All right, see you soon. Bye. Okay, so we're back, I'm going to do some veggies. So I've cleaned everything down. I've got to be a bit careful, I don't want to poison the mister. And I've got some washed vegetables. So basically, I'm going to get some more out. I'm going to do some, I don't know, do you call them crudite as I have I'm going to do some crudite. So I'm just going to wash these. We've got, oh, I think a red pepper as well, and that's probably, probably enough, though, I think. Oh, thank you, come back. I'll do it, I want it. All right, okay, so I'm going to split this, and then I'll show you what I've done after. Okay, so we're all washed up. So it's a case of chopping these bad boys and putting them in. So the whole idea being that I'm going to run out of snacky, snacky things before I spy the kids' chocolate, which they're also taking tomorrow. So that's the whole thing. If they run out before me, then I'm a lot less likely to nab it, aren't I? So not that I would ever steal children's food. Obviously not. Yeah. So I reckon by the time I'm done, There'll certainly be enough to eat, hopefully, enough that I can feel a bit of gluttonous. Because I do like the idea of it, but I am going to have to work on this portion control thing. I've been looking in the, um, at day 16 in the Beck Diet Solution. And what that tells me is that you have to try and overload your plate on purpose of something that you know you shouldn't have and then you have to just try and eat a small portion of it 
and funny enough I've been stuck on day 16 for three days it's really difficult I did have some like kind of um, cheap tortilla crisps and I'm allowed 25 grams of those for five sins I thought right I can do this and I did actually manage to stop um, and then using like the response cards the no choice cards and things I was able to then say no and I felt really good but that's the only time I've done that yeah didn't do that with a popcorn chicken this morning did I nope <laughs> so I don't know how many things they work but we'll have to just figure it out I'm sure I'll probably put it on screen by now so you'll all know and I don't like I said YouTube magic do I put cucumber in the ch in the rice salad? I don't think so. I'd have to put some tuna in with that rice salad actually, a bit of protein. But actually, Mr. Hubs to bring some tuna home with him because he's out of the shops. I don't know. So about half of the half of the peppers and half of the tomatoes will go in the rice salad. And it's just sitting there. And what I'll do is I'll dump the veg on top of it and then I'll drain it. Into releasing. Right, so tomato sauce. They're not kept so badly. There would have been carrots, but unfortunately, they went all moldy. We, they had been bought six days ago. Maybe I'm not keeping them right. You think a hard vegetable would keep a bit longer. I'm not sure what I did there. And what I do as well when we go out on these picnics is I make sure that we pack plenty of like kitchen roll because um, it's all very hands-on. We better take some alcohol gel as well, haven't we? Get our hands clean. Um, Loud Castle is lovely where we're going tomorrow. Um, it's got a brilliant play park for the kids. We've got loads of grass. grass. I really hope the weather's nice. It'll be such a nightmare if the weather's horrible. But never mind, it'll be nice to catch up with people too, because I'm trying to try and catch up with my brother, my sister-in-law, and their three kids. So yeah, I'm an auntie and um, it'll be nice because I haven't I had I did catch up with them actually is it somebody's birthday or Father's Day. Um, but we saw each other in the garden. It wasn't for very long. I didn't have my bits and pieces family with me. Um, lockdown was still a coom. We could only have so many people in the garden and it would have totaled too many people to bring my children and my husband along. So it was um, a, a fairly quick visit as well. We kept it, we kept it limited to about 20 minutes. So it'll be nice, we're going to spend longer together tomorrow. Hopefully that's okay. I haven't checked whatever whatever law is out at the minute. Or whatever ruling is out. Seems to change the change as quickly as my knickers. Um, we will be socially distancing, we'll take some masks, although it's outside, so I don't think we'll be wearing them, but I'm just taking them. We didn't end up wearing them at the zoo, actually, even though we took them. Um, and there wasn't any times where I felt we needed them. I went and got some um, fries for the kids and some drinks for us and um, it went fairly well and I did like a picnic like this so the kids are quite used to it aren't they when they've got their um, when they've got their school dinners on the go I don't think they miss school dinners I think they miss school they miss their friends but they're not going back now and, until September so there's no way any uniform is going to fit them anymore. Not a chance those two uniforms will fit. So we'll have to think about getting to the uniform shop in the next few weeks. Um, but not before I go to Disney. That is now... That is now six and a bit weeks away. Can't wait. It's not actually open yet, Disneyland Paris. It doesn't open until the 15th of... 15th of um, July. We're going to go on right at the back end of August. And oh, I just can't wait. It's just going to be so much fun. It was a toss up whether I do this video or whether I do the what am I going to pack for Disney? Because you can't pack too early, can you really? So 
So that is my chopped up bits and pieces. We're not separating those out I think everybody will help themselves. So they can go in the fridge with boxes. So there you've gone and it's now just a case of clearing up and it's on to the rice salad. This is my rice salad as you can see here. Um, and it's a case of, this is going to do over the two days and I think this needs to cool before it goes anywhere near a box. So I'm just going to grab a couple of boxes for that. But doesn't that look lovely? Do you want some? You can have some. So yeah, I'll just put that in a couple of boxes for tomorrow. So I think these eggs can go in a box. They probably actually do for Sunday. And plenty of eggs, it's pancakes for breakfast tomorrow. I do like my pancakes, it's very nice. Yeah, dairy cream, gluten free pancakes, they're not that bad to be fair. There is a recipe somewhere on YouTube that I've done that on already. Right, so we've got sandwiches, a rice salad, um, we've got veggie, vegetables. Do I want to do a salsa? Do I want to do a dip? I don't know, do I want to do a dip? Shall we do a dip? Let's see if we've got enough tomatoes. No, we can't do it. So um, I could do a yogurt and mint dip. I did that. I did a yogurt and dill dip the other day. I could do a yogurt and mint dip, couldn't I? So I could do that and I could put it in this little tub so you can't have too much. And that could be my healthy extra for tomorrow. So I'll probably do that, but I'm waiting for the yogurt to come. It's not here yet, it's at the shops. I want to fill up my fruit bowl, which is looking very sad and tired because it's only got a banana, an apple and a lemon in it. Um, but not to worry, we're all sorted and we'll be getting the snacks as well. And then I'm sure I'm gonna put a big picture in the end for you. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching if you've got this far. And um, it'll just be a few camera stills at the end, I would think and i'm going to see you the next time which will be weigh in on monday all right bye bye see you soon right, i'm just going to take you through my bag before i go so we've got french fries these are the only ones that are dairy free so i'll be having those i think they're five and a half sins i won't be having a croissant i'll try and put the sins in for it but that's actually for my daughter we've got the rice salad which is free We've got a muller corner, that is for my youngest. He, he's not, not keen on them. Um, that is the sandwiches and the pickles, and that is more sandwiches and the veggies. Um, Andy likes these, I'm not keen on them, so that's quite handy. And then the kids are gonna have these as well. And then Andy's got his crisp breads, and I've got one of my Little milks for healthy extra. Eddie. And there's Alex, he's looking at you, making sure I get everything. Eddie. Got my spoons and everything. Are you recording on the YouTube channel? I will be doing it later. Got to put it together yet. Okay. Got to edit it. Right, okay, and then that goes into our bag, which is Wait, quite a handy little bag. And I've got a blanket. Cool. Yeah, because it's a cool cooler. Cooler. I don't want the hard one, I want this one. I'm going to get me the other cooler and tell what it's doing. Because I'm magic, I'm a magic mother. So there's also um, some wipes in there. There's also some cut cutlery in there, no plates. And there's plenty of bags in there. Just in the side there, I've got some bags for our rubbish. Okay, see you later.